Hey Troy, am I looking the right way now? There you are. Okay, sure listen fabulous. Troy Casey, AKA the certified health nut at his health and wellness compound. So here's our ice baths. We have their freezers, and they're like tubs so that we don't have to replenish the ice all the time. <laughs> and then there is fresh ice in there. So yeah, one of our biggest concerns with our experiment has been the cost of ice. I don't think a lot of people realize that going in, that if you're gonna buy bags of ice every day, it's gonna be 12 to $15. So this is about $450. You can get them on Craigslist, but they may break. You get them at Home Depot, they got a guarantee. $27 a year to operate. Oxygen and sunlight uh, are really the first levels of nutrition. And, and so the more I can be exposed to the sun, the more I can be energized or nutrified, if you will. The cold ultimately helps you adapt and uh, allows you to become more resilient and strong and it improves circulation, it improves uh, hormone balance. It's so cold that the body must become extremely efficient. It's been great for me to control my anxiety, my stress. Okay. Mainly that. I'm Korean. I was going to say, Asia, it's, it's still very yeah, popular in, in Asia, we always had this option. We don't always have sauna or a hot bath. It's all, it, there always has been a cold option to go back and forth. It's going to start burning any fat that's around the organs. And there's no, there's no place in the mind worrying about your rent or worrying about the direction of your career or, or what's going to happen in the world. You basically have to come correct with yourself in that moment and do your best to drop into that neutral position. I like what you're saying, Troy. Most of the fear can be boiled down to fear of death. And so once you face your death, then you can get on with living a life worth living. Cool in. Letting go. Not fully out, you but fully in. That's got to be me. Every ball's You look eager to go in first. No, I'm not eager, but whatever. There you go. Breathe through your nose. Breathe through your nose. So we go. There you go. Do I just like step in? Yep. So why don't you try going down to your neck? No. Nope. How are you feeling right now? Horrible. Horrible? Yeah, legit, I feel sick. Really? I can't even feel my balls, bro. That's kind of crazy. They're probably inside of your torso at this point. I hope not. You're like running away. <laughs> I'm like, get me the out of that. Never again. I don't fit very well with the bath. Five. Honestly, it's four, like not even that three. bad no more. All right, please. Ooh. Oh, snap, dude. Crikey. See, Anthony was asking me the best way to get into the ice bath. <laughs> Literally the best way to do it. It's not even question your actions. <laughs> I get on right inside. You don't even stop even for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my legs need it. They're very sore. Oh, oh God. All right, Devin, you're up. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I ever if I ever felt like something like this. I like to, like I said, push myself. If this is the hardest thing that I ever did, I want to get through it. I don't want I don't want to freaking die in a bathtub. <laughs> um, well, you can't die. Yeah, but your body and your brain and everything is telling you get out of here. I thought it was cool. It's a good way to push yourself. It's a good little thing to do for whatever reason you guys are doing it. If it's to um, make you sharper, stronger mentally. Yeah. Keep pushing yourself. That's why I was down. Hell, it was great seeing you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Please come back again <laughs> soon and use our bathtub. <laughs>
They, they literally made a f***ing hive on the tent. Yeah.